The other great thing about these, these are ambidextrous. So for some of y'all go, well, you're right-handed. No, nope, these things are totally ambidextrous. Flip them around, and then all you gotta do is turn your front sight here and then slide your rear sight off, flip it around, and slide it back in there. So. What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and before anybody says anything, no, I'm not doing a review on this AR. All right, what I am doing a review on are our XS XTI2 45 degree offset sights. All right, that's what we're doing a review on here today are these right here, all right? This has been, I've been thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with these. All right, I'm, I'm a big advocate for having some type of backup sights. It's up to you on what you do. Some people will actually go and put an actual handgun red dot on a 45 degree offset mount. It's up to you. Uh, for me, on my main go-to rifle, I've got a low variable, so it's etched in. Uh, now, we, yes, we can sit here and say, you know, what happens when the glass breaks? I, agree with you on that you know i can still look through the tube get a, a generalized idea I, I do practice especially with this one i've practiced with this thing off just to get an idea of kind of where my aim would need to be if this is all i had i didn't have any type of iron sights to fall back all right if you don't like the 45 degree offset or want this they've got your regular flip up uh, front and rear iron sights the other great thing about these, these are ambidextrous. So for some of y'all go, well, you're right-handed. Nope, these things are totally ambidextrous. Flip them around, and then all you gotta do is turn your front sight here and then slide your rear sight off, flip it around, and slide it back in there. So that also means you've got, you know, windage and elevation adjustments. I'll be honest, I was excited when just getting them. Um, just to be able to get some rounds through with these things. And <laughs> I didn't read, you know, the instructions. So kind of the way I've got these set up, it's not what they recommend being done. They recommend you having them in front of your optic. Uh, I didn't really see anything in there as far as if that makes a better sight picture or whatnot. I got a good sight picture with the way having it with, I've got the rear side, of course, as you can see in the back, front side in the front, and they're fairly close to the optic. So that I don't know, if, again, if that will make a difference. I'm gonna swap these around and actually run them up in front of the optic to see if that makes a difference. Like I said, I, I really didn't read, <laughs> read that until I got to looking to get the information together to get this video done. So they do recommend them being in the front. Again, the way I've ran them right here, but it ran fine. I, I had really good shots on target. I didn't have to make any adjustments. Uh, that was, again, close range. I'm gonna go back and do a little bit of distance stuff. Again, these things really aren't made for distance. When I say distance, I don't know, 30, 40 yards, I might, give it, I might say the hell with it, maybe give it a try at 50 yards just to see. But again, these things are made for up close. Um, it is their big dot. Uh, whether you go with the standard dot or the big dot, there's just a little over two ounce difference uh, between the two. One's 2.02, one's 2.04. So not a big difference there. These are CNC machines, so they're metal, they're not plastic. So if they were to get snug or hung on something, these things aren't just gonna easily break off. The other great thing is with these being ambidextrous is you can also change them out to a different rear sight and to a different front sight as well too. So I was, again, I've dealt with some other backup iron sights, even the offset, and I just wasn't able to pick them up as quickly as what I was able to pick these up. Just going right from the red dot right over to the iron sights was just so quick. Uh, I'll have uh, some pictures 
so you can kind of see what it looks like, you know, behind the gun and everything, so you can get a good idea of that. But I mean, just right here from that red dot right over to these was just, it's just, it's so quick making that transition because you can say what you want. All right, I've, I do have a cheapo little red dot on here. Whatever, kiss my ass, it gets the job done. But this, sometimes when I run it pretty quick, uh, maybe it's the battery dying. I haven't swapped the battery out in a while. We'll, we'll, we'll make that. But here and there, uh, just going back over to these, I mean, it's just, like I said, it's just so fast grabbing this and being able to get those shots on target because that dot just really pops. You know, again, you're, you're dotting the eye just like with the handguns that I've done reviews on. And I mean, you know, ambient light, low light, it's just, it's right there. It is just freaking great. And I even ran, you know, a couple where I was just bringing it up for the iron sights. I wasn't even really focused on the red dot. And so quick picking them up and getting those shots on target. I highly, highly, highly uh, recommend these. I, I'm very excited to get them out in front to see if that changes that sight picture. So I'll let you know, for me, I was still getting a good sight picture. I mean, 15 yards, I think, is about where I was shooting at. And it being a big dot, it covered, you know, the head up and almost covered the chest up as well too. But again, still I knew where it was there on target. My shots were in the chest and they were in the head. Uh, there were a couple where I went a little too quick and ended up just a little bit high because I was focused too much on this front sight and had it way above that rear sight. So it made the shots go a little high. Nothing major, you know, right, floating right on the outside edge of that circle there. So the, again, if you're looking for some backup sights, these are really, really great. Again, totally ambidextrous on which side you want them on. These are easily replaced, changed, moved to be able to go from one side or the other. Uh, matter of fact, I'll uh, get everything switched over to the left and run it from the left some just to see. All right, I, I'll be honest, I've mainly ran optics when I've been in my left shoulder. So it'll be good to see what it's like to run some of these. And I'll, I'll do a follow-up video on that down the road a little bit so we can get an idea of what it's like from the left side. But if you're looking for some great backup iron sights, XS XTI2 offset, 45 degree offset sights, Highly recommend them. Uh, I'm definitely going to be getting these uh, and putting on some of my other ARs as well, too. So uh, they've got them for AKs also. So it's not just ARs. They've got them for AKs. So please go in there. Uh, don't forget when you get ready to check out, uh, after you pick up some of your rifle and some of your handgun sights, SCGS-10. I'll have it uh, somewhere up on the screen here somewhere uh, with that code SCGS10. It's South Carolina Gun School abbreviated with the number 10, SCGS10, and you will get your discount when you get ready to check out. Uh, they've also just recently added uh, fiber optic sights for the Glock. Uh, I've picked up some of those, have them on the way, get them on my 23 and run some rounds through them, and let you know what I think about those as well too. But if you're looking for something for the rifle, XTI2 45 degree offset. You're not going to be disappointed. Get in there, get them checked out. They've got, again, some great handgun optics, which I've done reviews on. I'll have uh, the gear playlist posted in the video here so you can go in and check out those others as well. But absolutely love them. Been great. You're not going to be disappointed. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.